Hi everyone, in this video we are talking about Khmer boxing, Bokator or Khun Khmer. Martial arts are an important and ancient part of Southeast Asian culture. Many Southeast Asian nations have their own style and tradition and compete with each other for credibility, authenticity and popularity. Cambodia is no different, and has two particularly strong traditions Pro Del Sere, also known as Khun Khmer, and Bukater, both of which have been claimed to be the original Southeast Asian martial art. Pro Dal Sere meaning free fighting, also known as Khun Khmer, is a kickboxing form descended directly from early forms of Khmer fighting techniques. It is a national sport in Cambodia and has been slightly altered from the ancient form to allow for modern competition. Bukater is often confused with Pradal Siri, or used as a phrase for Khmer boxing as a whole. However, it is a specific version of Khmer boxing that has been popularized in recent years. Bukater is an ancient battlefield martial art used by ancient Khmer military groups. It is one of the oldest existing fighting systems originating from Cambodia. Oral tradition indicates that Bukater, or an early form thereof, was the close quarter combat system used by the ancient Cambodian armies before the founding of Angkor. Bukater uses weapons techniques, with bamboo staffs and short sticks. Unarmed attacks involve a combination of elbow and knee strikes, shin kicks, submissions and ground fighting. Bukater fighters wear different colored chromas around their waist denoting their level. The first grade is white, followed by green, blue, red brown, and finally black, which has 10 degrees. Fighters also wear silk cords around their heads and biceps. Bukater it means fighting with the lion. After Bokatao was developed the martial arts called Kun Khmer and the free fighting mainly for the ring. Bukater or Kunl Bukater is a martial art dating back to the Angkorian period, 9th to 15th century. It aims to develop the mental and physical strength and discipline of its practitioners through self-defense techniques and a philosophy of non-violence. As an embodiment of Cambodia's social, cultural and religious values, Kunlo Bukater has been actively performed as part of ritual offerings to local deities and in other festivals, along with elements such as dance, music and traditional medicine, sacred objects and or amulets, tattoos, and weapons.